you enter the counseling you choose the college you get the seat and then the counseling gets over you come to the college you pay the fees and now the college starts so of course college starts and you need textbooks right so i'm here to make it easier for you to choose the textbooks hi everyone and welcome to dr aman i'm aman praveen a second year mbbs student in smmc chennai first year has three subjects that is the anatomy that is the physiology and then that is the biochemistry after deciding that i should make a video on this topic i went to my uh, classmates who got distinctions during their first year and what all textbooks did, did they actually use and what all really benefited them for the exam purposes and of course to gain knowledge firstly let's start with anatomy anatomy is divided into the gross anatomy neuroanatomy uh, osteology radiology uh, embryology histology and all that uh, the main books which are required are the gross anatomy's books embryology histo and neuronat almost every student in india will choose the uh, bd chaurashya for their anatomy gross which is fairly good everything is given in points and easy to understand so you get a really good conceptual understanding you're starting fresh and it's easier also to grasp it of course there are way more knowledgeable books like the gray's anatomy of students which i personally used as a, as a pdf format uh, to get through certain topics only but i wish i didn't do that and uh, you know used it as a wholesome textbook for neuroanatomy one of the toppers said that uh, they use the vishram singh uh, textbook uh, see vishram singh is really good and easy uh, language and it has like paragraph wise so you can read through it whereas actually neuroanatomy is a little complex to understand it's hard to understand but uh, when you you know uh, use books like vishram singh and all it has easy language and you'll get to understand what concept it actually is so you can write it and you know or regurgitate during the exam whereas in uh, bd charashia it's fairly complex you can't easily grasp the diagrams and all uh, so i would recommend uh, vishram singh's neuroanatomy if you want to know how my college life is here i'll add my video it's a college vlog uh, in my second year so it was a really fun day and go check it out if you want to next comes embryology embryology usually students don't take it much seriously only for viva and practicals and little for those theory questions they take the book usually you'll get around one or two questions maximum for your unit university exams in from embryology so for embryology use the indoor basing uh, this is this is amazing i mean uh, there's if all the concise points uh enough for you to get through the exam and gain knowledge also if you want or you have more interest in embryology you can always go and uh, check out those uh, clinical embryology textbooks present in your college library itself you need not actually invest a lot uh, at this stage itself on a embryology textbook like getting some big foreign author books uh, preferably this is good enough you'll get enough knowledge uh, start slow so that you can easily understand stuff and then come to the histology histology personally wasn't my favorite uh, it was really hard for me so uh, everyone in my uh, batch used uh, defoe's atlas of histology this is actually a gold standard book for histology uh, really good there's also a histology book from indra b singh which a lot of students switched so cuz it's more easier to understand and prepare for exams and stuff uh histology was a bit of a complex thing for me so i hope you give a little bit extra focus on histology also you won't actually require a book for osteology because in bd chaurashya itself uh, there are well put out points for uh, those bones and parts and uh, all those features so that's one check for you if you are going to buy the books outside you need not actually buy books for osteology for radiology uh, i believe your institute or your medical college itself will give you like uh, pdfs and uh, uh, certain booklets and all for radiology which is which is fairly enough and you attend your uh, practicals you attend your dissections and over there when they uh, give you points uh, noted down and that itself should be good enough for you to get through uh, the viva so the next subject is physiology 
for physiology uh, we all in my batch used the uh, sembolingam book this is the essentials of medical physiology uh, by k sembolingam uh, i used this extensively uh, i marked everything everything i went through each and every page and stuff uh, yeah so this was my book but of course uh, it has its ups and downs renal system is amazing in this book whereas uh, cardiology not so good uh, it's a little complex over here and understanding all those waves and all is a little hard in this because it's very to the point uh, not a lot of concept uh, conceptual thing uh, i mean for paper presentation and all this is like the best but uh, to understand little more that will help you a lot right if you can't actually answer a question if you know the concept you can write something so for that obviously uh, the uh, distinction holder of physiology actually told me that this lpr book uh, helps a lot i got this lpr book from a senior of mine uh, during the end stages of my uh, exam preparation it was useful it was fairly useful uh, i wish i had more time with it yeah i wish i had more time with this book and uh, i think it would have made a little bit of a difference in phys uh, in physiology if i had uh, used this from the start uh, it's very conceptual i like books which are conceptual and make me understand it uh, i mean that's me in second year first year was a totally different subject uh, i'll make a video about it uh, hopefully the next subject is biochemistry for biochemistry i and all the students including the distinction holder of uh, biochemistry also had this book called as uh, uh, vasudevan so uh, it's also uh, just like sembolingam it has all the points uh, biochemistry is a really tough subject for i mean uh, for most of the first year mbbs students biochemistry is a little tough and biochemistry departments are a little more stricter when you compare to all the other uh, departments so yeah other than that uh, obviously you'll need uh, atlases in anatomy biochemistry practical books uh, physiology practical books and all uh, you won't use it only i mean i got those books in first year but uh, i didn't use it i talked with my uh, batchmates who got distinctions and all they also didn't use those books uh the main uh, things which we used for practicals was the uh, contents or the booklets and pdfs which the uh, college itself gave to us uh, they'll share those pdfs and uh, all those case files and all that which are uh, really useful uh, that is actually what you need what you require and that is what all the students also went through uh, all the students uh, go through for it uh, practical books maybe you might you can use it if you want to uh, it's not even a, you don't need it actually uh, you can always use the booklets from the uh, college and if you really want to go through something na you can obviously go and refer in the college library you need not invest uh, some fair amount of money into those books i would say if you want to know more about my college uh, i'll add my video where i talk about all the stuff which is there in my college and uh, all the uh, from the academics to the seniors to the college staffs to the partying and stuff uh, accommodations all the topics i'm brushing through and getting in detail also so make sure if you want to you can check it out and of course if this video was really helpful for you make sure to click that like button and if you have any queries at all or any doubts or if you want to appreciate uh, the effort i put into this video uh, you can always mention your uh, words in the comment section and uh, share it with your friends hopefully it will be useful for them too and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it's a growing channel and uh, i would really appreciate it uh, thank you a lot i hope you enjoyed this video and as always be awesome